Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching JavaScript tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about the script tag. So let's get started. All right guys, so I have opened the project folder javascript-project in sublime text. Now inside the project folder, I'll go ahead and create a new file and I'll save this file as script.html and I'll write the following HTML code. So we have the doc type HTML opening and closing HTML tag. We have the opening and closing head tag and we have set the title for this page to script tag. We use the script tag to tell the browser the starting and ending point of a script inside the HTML document. So let us go ahead and create an opening and closing script tag. So the opening script tag is the point from where the JavaScript code will start. That is from here. And the closing script tag is the point where the JavaScript code ends. In the following example, we have created a script tag and set the type attribute to text slash JavaScript. JavaScript is the default scripting language for HTML and hence in new browsers, we don't have to use the type attribute. But for older browsers, we have to set the type attribute to text slash JavaScript. Now let's say we want to write hello world in the script.html file. So we'll write the following JavaScript code. Document.write and we'll pass a string within double quotes hello world and now if we open this script.html file in the browser we will get hello world as output so let us go ahead and open script.html in the browser and we have the hello world output we can also use the script tag to include an external javascript file into the html document so let us go ahead and create a new file inside the JS folder. And let us save this file as script.js. So we have the script.js file inside the JS folder. Now to include this script.js file inside the script.html file, we have to use the script tag. So let's say we want to include this script.js file after the script. So we'll write the script tag, that is the opening and closing script tag. And this time, inside the opening script tag, we'll add the src attribute. And we'll set the value to the path of the script.js file, that is js slash script dot js and let's say inside this script dot js file we have a javascript code document dot write hello from script dot js file so when this page will be loaded in the browser the browser will then execute this script tag and when the browser will see this line document.write and within double quotes hello world it will print out hello world then the browser will see this line which is a script tag and because we have this src attribute set to js slash script.js so the browser will know that it has to then fetch this script.js file in this html page and inside the script.js file we have this line a javascript code which is going to write hello from script.js file so if we open this page in a browser we'll get two lines hello world and hello from script.js file. 
So we go back to our browser and if we reload, we get hello world and hello from script.js file. Of course, they both are at the same line. So we can print them at two separate lines by making few changes in our code. So we can enclose the hello world inside the opening and closing paragraph tag. And inside the script.js file, we can enclose this hello from script.js file text inside the opening and closing paragraph tag. And we'll save both the files. And now if we go back to the browser and reload, we have the two lines. Another tag that we can use is the no script tag. And we use the no script tag to provide an alternative content if JavaScript is turned off in any browser. So let us go ahead and create a no script tag. So we have the no script opening and no script closing tag. And the content of this no script opening and closing tag will be shown when the JavaScript is turned off. So let us write text Java script is off. Now, if you open this page script.html in our browser, and if we reload, we get the following output. Now, in order to get JavaScript is off, we have to turn off the JavaScript for the browser. And in Chrome, we have to go to settings, then show advanced settings. Then under privacy, we have to click on this content settings and we have to scroll down to JavaScript and we have to select do not allow any site to run JavaScript and we have to click finished. Then if we go back to our script.html file and if we reload this page, we get the output JavaScript is off. Now since most of the web pages are running JavaScript, so it is not recommended to turn off JavaScript in your browser. So we'll go back to settings, then content settings, and we'll switch back to allow all sites to run JavaScript, which is recommended. And we'll click finished. And we'll go back to script.html file. And now if we reload the page, we get back the output. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com. And all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You will find all the links in the video description, so please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye!